Hello everyone, in today's case unboxing we have the last car culture mix of 2023, Off-Road. Starting with the Toyota 4Runner. It has been released in 2021 in the Boulevard set and also in the Boulevard in 2022. We had this last one on my channel in the 2022 case unboxing, but now we have it in this light blue, stock colors, nothing crazy on it and those huge black wheels. Probably the white first release is the most interesting, with this one coming very close behind. It looks great, I like it, neat card artwork and while European collectors might not go crazy for it, I know fellow Americans do, although we do have some interesting ones in the set. Next, and the one I was excited for, the Mercedes G-Wagon. It's a very interesting casting, released in 2019 in the Fast and Furious Off-Road set, although I think that version had the back top removed, then we had the grey version in the Boulevard in 2020. While I don't remember much those versions, I was very excited about this one and I think they have nailed it. IWC Liveries, the Switch Watch company and we remember Hatfuls had a collaboration with them before. Classic car, representing a classic brand, perfect color for it, the rims are also great. I wish I could own an IWC watch, their amazing line of watches but very expensive, so I will have to stick to the Hatfuls diecast car until then. New casting Toyota Land Cruiser Prado I'm not an off-road collector, but I'm enjoying this so far. It looks just like a version you would see on the streets. Spare tire in the back, black top, definitely great on this set. This one should also be the chase. Obviously, we did not get it, but it's okay, we can't always be lucky. I'm not complaining though, as we got so many in the previous case unboxing videos and you guys that have watched my channel long enough know that. If you are a new viewer, you can always subscribe and click the bell icon to receive the notification and catch the next chase we find in the cases. Next is the Range Rover Classic. It has been released for the first time in 2021 in the mainlines and it's actually new to premium series. It looks great in the premium with all the details and especially with those liveries and huge grey wheels. All the graphics are from a version of the Dakar Rally, so it's probably the most heavy SUV in the set today. It has never caught my attention in the mainlines and the last version I noticed it was the previous 55th Hattles Anniversary set also featured on this channel. Definitely a highlight of the set and probably collectors are going to get all the ones they find on the pegs, so make sure to grab a copy for your collection while they can still be found in the stores. Probably the only one that doesn't fit with the rest, Chevy Bel Air. Not sure how designers pick these castings for the sets, but they could have definitely picked another one to fit with all the cars in the set. As a casting, it's great, it has been released in 2020 in the main lines, so we have seen quite a few versions of it. No crazy liveries on it, looking like a demolition derby casting, but again, not something that would look like it could fit in an off-road theme. First time in the premiums and just like all the other castings, the details are there for all of them. Probably the casting that is going to be a peg warmer in the stores. But I doubt these next cars were peg warmers and you can check their case unboxings by clicking on these videos. Thank you for watching and have fun collecting.